This very first poem is called The Musings of Eve, and it's after the poem, after the song, From Eden, by the Irish musician Hozier. I'd be lying if I said I'm not intrigued by your scent of cloves and brimstone, their intoxicating burn. Then there's the sway of misdirection in your voice. I imagine poppies, honey in your kiss. How did you come to be outside my door? And where's Adam? I haven't seen him since I heard the breeze whisper my name, then catch fire. Prince Roger Nelson, Rogers Nelson died, and um, I'm still recovering. I still miss Prince. <laughs> I'm always gonna miss Prince. So um, I loved Prince since before I could read, because my parents were Prince fans. Uh, so I grew up looking at that album cover. You know the one, Prince. And this poem is called Prince Album Cover. With the lavender dreamscape behind him, who was this god, naked astride a pegasus? I couldn't read the florid script, but didn't need it to know love was feathered hair framing a tan face. Doe wide eyes, bare thighs, gripping a white winged horse. This new body was not hidden, like my father's dirty magazines, so this meant art, an invitation, <laughs> drawing my gaze closer, closer to determine where divinity nestled itself between man and horse. This poem is called Slow Drag and it's After Dancing in the Dark by Cannonball Adderley. The saxophone starts its leisurely tease, ascending in a soft whisper, almost too low to hear. A timber vibrates, the inner eardrum dances, then sighs, sending tremors down the spine's knotty rope. The spaghetti strap of her cocktail dress slips off her shoulder, her stocking feet whisper, their two-step on the carpet's short-looped hush. The brown curls on her crown have fallen from a pent-up grace to loose, sensual curves, teasing the nape of the neck, an invitation for his fingertips or lips to follow. Her Manhattan dangerously angled in her hand, almost drained, its amber cure-all sloshing a swollen cherry tempted to fall out and stain the night. Her dance partner slouches into the hollows of her neck, seduced by her familiarity, the bare traces of her perfume. Their bodies heavy with the weight of work, so what feels better than this measured surrender into each other? To use what's left of the day's energy to linger, limpid and luxuriously into this slow drag letting the music lead them through the well-worn paces of love. And this last poem, and again, thank you all, is called Crescendo, and it has an epithang, as Miss Lucille liked to call it, uh, from Richard Wright's Black Boy. You almost scared us to death, my mother muttered, as she stripped the leaves from a tree limb to prepare it for my back. My son nests, pawing each pillow like a breast fleshed out and so newly forgotten. I've spanked him once tonight. He takes turns laughing, then crying, defiant, then hungry. In his mouth, my name, all need, pursed lips plead, mommy, and I am guilty of the same sin. I miss his curled and tucked weight, embryo, the deepest root yanked clean. This is why babies are born crying into this world, having held fast to such an intimate tether, who willingly would let go again? But today, another white cop walked free. Another black body was still on the ground, not indicted, undoubtedly, the future outcome. Four years ago, I crossed labor's red sea of pain to birth a boy, no doctor hit his backside. Now I raise my hand to complete an act older than me, breaking the black back of the boy to make a man who can survive in America. Mommy, he calls me, 
and my teats threatened to weep old milk at our stasis, both of us needing the succor of sleep, both of us fighting him to keep me near, me punishing him to be left alone. He crawls into my lap, his heart is three, his body a lanky four. I cover him with a blanket too thin to mean it. We rock on the edge of his bed, listening to the symphony's fourth movement, the crescendo, sweet, full of tension, taught violin strings singing. I think Mozart must have known something of loving with such a tender fear that it breaks you open like a welt that bleeds to heal. Tonight, I give up cuddling this boy so full of belief in himself, I'm too tired with love to beat it out of him. Thank you.